Leaders are readers. Simple. Have you ever wanted to read quicker, or found yourself reading the same book for months on end? Be honest and ask yourself: Are you serious in learning to read faster? Because if you're not, I'm afraid this video probably isn't for you. But if you are, carry on watching as I'm about to reveal the best ways to read faster and retain more at the same time. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be covering the best ways you can start to read faster and smarter. So let's go. Method number one: stop subvocalizing. Now you might be thinking to yourself, what is subvocalizing? It's basically where you read each word aloud in your head, and this is something you've got to stop doing. I know it's natural for everyone to do this, but what you're actually doing is you're slowing down your own read speed because you're focusing just on one word at a time. Instead, what you should be doing is using a pacer or a guide such as your finger, and what you'll find is that your brain is actually computing the words faster than your hand can follow. Now this is a good thing, as it's an indication that your brain wants to read faster than your pace can keep up with. If you keep practicing this, I guarantee you'll start seeing a difference. Method number two. Again, you've got to stop reading single words, like I said before, and start looking at the bigger picture. The phrases. Focus on the phrases and really be mindful to train your brain to take in four or five words at a time, instead of just common and simple words such as "of" or "and." Now, the average human eye span is around one and a half inches, so by focusing on every fourth or fifth word in the sentence, you'll slowly find yourself looking at phrases instead of single words. And you'll be absorbing more information, and at the same time, getting through books or articles or whatever it is that you're reading much, much quicker. Trust me. So the third tip that I have for you today is that there's so many books to read, and there's never enough time. Everyone will have heard of skimming and scanning when it comes to reading. And what you can do is you can start by reading the first sentence of each section. If you can't get the general gist of the paragraph in the first section, keep reading until you do. Then, once you've found what seems like an important point, drop your eyes down and briefly scan the rest of the section. Now, what you're looking for when you do this is key information like dates, events, names, or anything important to really help you grasp the main points. I don't really recommend this method for any super important tasks that you have. But what it is is a great skill to have in your toolbox that will, for sure, help you gather information at speed, and hopefully with practice, save you a lot of time. Moving on to number four. This might seem simple, but you just have to keep reading. Just like with any other skill, you have to keep doing it, and this is something that's overlooked by a lot of people. They expect to be able to pick up a book once a month or so. And get faster at reading, and this mindset, I'm telling you, it's wrong, completely wrong. The more you read and pay attention to the bad habits like subvocalizing, naturally, the better you're gonna get. The brain is our most important muscle, and it has to be trained just like anything else. Now, the last method I want to go through with you guys is kind of cheating, but I'll go through it anyway because I really, really love this method. And it's using an app called Blinkist. And if you haven't heard of this app before, what it does is it summarizes the whole book for you in 15 to 20 minutes worth of reading or listening. They do the hard work, so you don't have to. So personally, I've read books in full, and I've also read them on the Blinkist app. And what this app will do is it will save you so much time, especially if you're always on the go or you absorb information better through listening. And hey. Reading isn't for everyone. They do an awesome job at collating key points made in the book and making it super easy to digest. I listen and read to these shortened versions of the books wherever I go, at the gym, on the train, even when I go jogging. It's a great way to kill two birds with one stone. Now there is a monthly subscription to Blinkist, but if you want to try it out, you can try the free trial. I'll leave a link in the description below. 
It is an affiliate link, so if you choose to support my channel and the content I provide, I can't tell you how grateful I am. All in all, no one ever said it was going to be easy to read faster. But what I really wanted you to understand and take away from this video is that practice makes perfect. And getting rid of old reading habits and replacing them with good ones is so, so key to be able to read faster. You have to ask yourself the question, am I willing to put the time and dedication into learning a new skill that others simply aren't? If the answer is no, like I said at the beginning, you're watching the wrong video. But what I want to help you achieve by creating this channel is to help you guys learn new skills and ultimately become better versions of yourself. On that note, we also cover how to learn a new skill 10 times faster in our video right here. So head over there and be sure to check it out. I'd really love to hear your thoughts and if there are any other ways you guys know for learning to read faster or learning to read and take in more information, let me know in the comments below and smash that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for the support and I'll catch you in the next video.